Hello? Hello everyone, uh, Yuval Master here, aka 38 the Master One, bringing you another stream for the Bell community, and it looks like we have a new event. I had no idea this was a thing. Uh, the Dual Triangle Synchro Fusion XYZ. Huh. The 18th of April. Okay, cool. Couple of days time. Uh, we got some rewards here. Hmm. I think we've had one of these events before. I I'm guessing this is like you can only use Fusion Synchro and XYZs or something. Seems cool. I'm not sure if we'll play it on stream though, because we won't be able to play Unchained. So I think I'll just do that off stream. Let's get our replay out of the way. Hello, 89 Crank. How are you doing today? How are we all doing today? And shoutouts to you VODheads, say in the comments how, how you're doing today as well. <laughs> uh. We're almost, we're pretty close to getting to gold one by the way. I think we can do it in the next two games. Uh, and... Ah oh, yes, I do remember yesterday's uh, win-loss ratio I updated to be 7 wins and 5 losses for... Well, not yesterday. Last stream, which was like on Friday. Or Saturday morning. Um, so yeah, we went 7-5. Well, uh, oh, this guy's just playing synchros. If you can draw no other cards, you can add one synchron monster from you. Syn synchron monster. Hmm... No, we, we like Ash Blossom, the one that, like, discards, right? No, wait, 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 wait. We Ash Blossom the, the Junk Speeder. Yeah. Oh, wait, you could just Ash Blossom the Activation, even if they're not, act they're not adding anything? Interesting. So why didn't they add anything. What do they discard, by the way? I just got an old copy. Okay, so they didn't even use the effects. Wait, I feel like I want to Ash Blossom this, because then they get into, like, um, they get into, like, Junk, uh, no, not Junk, the Jet Synchron. kind of want to Ash Blossom this. They haven't Normal Summoned yet, though. But, like, what Normal Summon is good in in this deck. Mm. No, I, I mean, they didn't add with this. Why would they not add? Well, the thing is, okay, so this is either going to get them a Snake Eye Ash or a Jet Synchron. And because they didn't add, I think they have the Jet Synchron in hand. But they're not going to go into Junk Speeder. Because Junk Speed is like a level 6. So I think I'm just going to use the Ash Blossom on this. Yeah. And then they'll probably just normal summon Jet Synchro and go into level 8 Synchro. Oh, they have a call out anyway. Okay. So yeah, you know, yesterday at Locals we did a we did a tag duel tournament, which was pretty fun. Um, I... Uh, I brought two decks ready because we're not allowed to, to, to double deck. So I brought Heroes and I brought u -Bell. Uh My um, my tag partner brought along a u -Bell deck. And uh, they it was like their first time playing a u -Bell deck. They had literally like... I was literally helping them to construct it like... <laughs> like as, as we were like getting ready. So, yeah. Um, and yeah, so I was like, I was like coaching them playing... To, to play u -Bell, like throughout the throughout the event and um, I was playing heroes and it's actually surprisingly synergistic because uh, DPE plus U-Bell is really really good and you don't usually get to summon DP in a U-Bell deck so oh there's the speeder I mean they had the cross out but 
Oh well. I'm still I'm still confused why they didn't add. I guess they didn't want to add because they want all of the um, synchrons in their deck so that they can actually use junk speeder to, to summon them out. Oh, honestly, this is not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good, everyone. <laughs> I remember the last time I, I faced a, a, bought, um, a synchron deck like this. They they set up five. They set up five negates. Plus a uh, uh, Crimson Dragon. Oh no, it's happening again. <laughs> I swear, like, on Friday, this is exactly the same way that, that the stream started. <laughs> Deja vu. I've just been in the place before. Higher on the streets. <laughs> uh, freaking Deja vu, anyone? This is already one negate. They got this Crimson Dragon ready to go into Hot Wing. Um, hot, no, Hot. Red, Red Hot Calamity. Um, big... Bombastic special dragon. Hmm. Right, two negates. Um, they have, don't have seven counters. Oh, they have grave res resources, I guess. Never mind. Yo, it is going good today. How's it going for you, uh, Razor Hitoshi? It is going good. We, we, we have an unusual streaming time. It's like, it's like, uh, slightly earlier than normal. So I hope that didn't catch too many people off guard. Um, but for you VOD heads, uh, thanks for keeping up the series. I'm currently staring down a crazy synchro combo. Which is probably going to end on a bunch of negates. Already have two and counting. Uh, there's there's like, a, a, like one synchro monster that has a negate that's already in the graveyard. I don't know what they're planning on doing with it. Have they used, um, maybe they haven't used Dispater effect yet? No, they haven't used Dispater effect, so they can just summon it from the Banish pile, I suppose. Wait, it's not even in the Banish pile, where is it? It's here, it's in the graveyard. Psychic End Punisher? Can I even out that? Oh, wait, I don't need to out that. Wait, you're tagging out for a level 11? Yo, what the heck is going on? This is like different from the last combo that we saw at the beginning of uh, Friday stream. Uh, Razor, you, you're fine, but things are getting, but things are going well, at least over here. Ah, nice. Enjoy your day off. Having a day off is good. What is this? What is this? Shooting Majestic Dragon. Uh, must be Synchro Summon. You. Okay, so they're setting up this Crimson Dragon to, to use on my turn. Um, if I get if I get Calamity locked, I don't. But I, they don't have access to Calamity yet because they need a level twelve. Uh, let's just read this. Uh, once per turn, you can negate the effects of one. Why does every like synchro boss monster have a negate? <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. Um, you can negate the effects of one effect monster your opponent controls. Okay. This. This card gains one additional attack each battle phase for each monster in your graveyard that is Stardust Dragon, or is a Synchro monster with Stardust Dragon in its text. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you can banish this card until the end phase if you do. So this is two negates in one! Oh wait, no, that's not a quick effect, the first one. Okay. okay that's not too bad. So this is a once per turn card or effect. So this is Omni Negate. Right. Omni Negate, uh, what does this do? Uh, da -da -da. You just draw a card effect. Oh no, this doesn't do anything. It's just set up for uh, calamity. I can't out calamity. I can max C.
Oh, they didn't even bother negating the Maxi. <laughs> they just let the Maxi resolve. That's so obnoxious. <laughs> Wait, it... Have, have I missed something? Is, is like, Synchro just top tier just because of Crimson Dragon? Like, <laughs> has, has, has Synchro just become top tier straight up in, in Master Duel? Because this is, like, the second time this has happened to me. Where they've, um... I've gotten Calamity locked. Let's just test this out. Uh, yeah, normal summon. Yep, no effects. Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, I'll just pass over. It's over. I, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> this is... Uh... I don't want to have to, like, start main decking super volleys just to counter this, but, like, if I get to the higher ranks and, and I'm playing Unchained, like, how on earth am I going to counter this? I'm going to have to, like, either, like, put a bunch of hand traps and pray or, like, um, put stuff to counter the Calamity, maybe? But even that, like, I think the only thing that counters Calamity is, like, super volley, right? Like, I can't think of anything else that counters Calamity. Because they have they they, they they set up a cap calamity they set up a calamity lock along with like um loads of other negations. Hello? Are we back? I think I think we're back. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, my graphics card just like straight up crashed, and <laughs> uh, the game I couldn't see the game anymore. Uh, but we are back, and I'm going to try my best this stream to remember the win loss ratio. So let's add the total to uh, last to, to our uh, to our total. Uh, so eleven and. Uh, 24 and we'll reset this to zero zero well actually we lost one so we're gonna do zero one because we lost a calamity um and yeah let's let's try again <laughs> uh i imagine i lost a lot of my live viewers just then uh sorry for the scuff it happens sometimes but for those that were patient enough to, to wait through the scuff, uh, welcome back to the stream. And uh, I don't know how that's going to turn out on the VOD. Um, but hopefully uh, you you guys on the VOD head would have used the, the, the timestamps. So, yeah. Hello, Elian. Welcome to the stream. Oh yeah, um, I forgot to to tell uh to tell you guys, I did add Nibiru to my um to my deck. Uh, it was I I I added that at the end of the last stream, so I added two Nibirus. I took out one uh kaiju and I took out one of the traps, the one that I had three of. Okay, resonators. Uh, what do I ash blossom in resonators? I can add one red dragon art fiend. Um, do I Ash Blossom this? I'm not sure what to Ash Blossom. Uh, I don't think so, actually. I think we, like, Ash Blossom one of the Resonator effects. Oh, this adds a Resonator. If this card is normal summoned, you can add one level four or lower. Yeah, I want to Ash Blossom this. Because this adds, like, the Bone Arch Fiend. And then they've committed to a normal summon now, so. You just started playing Master Duel last month. So your resources are low. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a... That's an, I, I, I was in that position uh, when I started Master Duel as well. Um, yeah, with, with low resources, like, it's hard to just to build, like, a meta deck. Um, but, like, yeah, you should, you should kind of, like, just focus on... Like gathering those resources in the, like the first two months or so, so like the the way I the way I played Master Duel is that I just used one of the one of the free decks or one of the budget like structure decks, and I used that to get me up to gold. 
But then I didn't bother going like past uh, past gold because I knew that if I get higher than gold, then I'm just going to get destroyed by meta decks. So I'm like, okay, I'm fine. Uh, like, I know I'm skillful enough to, like, win and, like, get up to gold pretty easily, even though I have, like, a really weak budget deck, um, or one of those free structure decks. I was literally running, right, I was literally running Time Thiefs with, with, like, suboptimal, um, with, like, suboptimal, uh, cards. Like, it was just a very basic Time Thief deck, and I had, like, I had the boss monster, so I had, like, Time Thief Redoer, um... And I had, like, some of the cards. But it wasn't fully complete. And I had, like, only, like, two maxis and that's it. Because I was, like, still waiting for enough materials to craft the maxis. But I, I still got to gold really easily with, with just Time Thieves. And Time Thieves isn't even meta. So I need to read this. Hold on. When this card is special summoned, you can target one once in the field. Um, Do I Nibiru here? I, I think I just nib, nib here, right? Uh, Does this have a graveyard effect? Target one graveyard. Uh, Resonator wants to... Graveyard, you cannot switch someone what's on the other deck. During my face, you can banish this card from go target two level one resonator monsters in your graveyard, special summon both. Okay. Okay, so I need to be careful of this. So we don't Nibiru now. Um they can't go into any negates, I don't think. Yeah, that's a good question, uh Gabriel. Uh have you done the solo mode? Because the solo mode gives you a lot of gems. It gives you like 200 each time you complete one of the chapters. Ooh, it's royal rare. Um, okay, this card name becomes... Is this in a gate or something? If this card is sent fr from the monster zone to the graveyard, you can special summon one red dragon archfiend from your extra deck. This is treated as a synchro summon. Then, if this card is sent to the graveyard as synchro material, you can destroy all attack position monsters your opponent controls. Okay, so this also floats. I, I'm really not sure where to Nibiru here. Uh, so this is a graveyard resource. Is uh, you can uh, you contribute one monster, target one red dragon archfiend monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Uh, when this card inflicts damage to your opponent, you can special summon two tuners the same level. Um. Okay, so this is it's a card sense you can special on one red red dragon archery in your deck. Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Like, is he gonna go into hot into hot red calamity? I I, I kind of wanted Nibiru here because he is like a level two and like a, a level ten. Doesn't doesn't like the level twelve require two tuners or something? I'm gonna I'm gonna hold the Nibiru for the graveyard resource to be used. Because I, I, I'm just, I'm just okay if like I get punished for it, then I learn, you know. But like, we're so many two of the same. What are we overlaying for good stuff, Max? Or are they like locked into synchros? Why do they? Is that that can't be your end board? Okay, so I guess they're trying to bait out the Nibiru because they know that I have something. But, like, we kind of have to use it here, right? Oh, and actually, this is going to be a juicy Nibiru. If we can get Ubel the Ultimate Nightmare out, this is going to be so sick. This is going to be... How much damage is this? It's, like, 7,000 damage. <laughs> We're putting in attack mode. Actually, hold on. Uh, we put in defense mode, actually, because Ubel doesn't actually care about attack or defense. It just deals It just deals damage equal to the attack. Oh, that's a beefy token! <laughs> I do not regret using Nibiru. Yeah. Yeah, you should get on that. Uh, and the solo mode's fun, and it's also really good for beginners as well, because, like, playing against the AI is a lot more forgiving than playing against um, real people. Uh, yeah, let's just... Uh, do we summon Tour Guide instead? I think we go Dark Beckoning Beast, actually. They didn't use the graveyard resource, I just realized. Oh, it says during the main phase, set the turn this was sent to the graveyard. I was scared for nothing. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target two. You're just going to negate it? Are you serious? Oh, that sucks, actually. Wait. No, that's just a pop. 
Thanks, face card effect. Oh, you can't even use this. You need to control Red Dragon Archfiend. Target one card in the field. Yeah, so that's just... It just does nothing. Uh, I probably should read this, actually. Uh, so when your Red Dragon Archfiend declares attack, it changes monster attack. If monster destroyed by battle or card effect special summon. Okay. So they, they can float into Red Dragon Archfiend. Uh, is there anything that is treated as Red Dragon Archfiend in the grave? Oh, this is. Okay, so we have 3,000 attack. Uh, if this card is sent from the... If it's with someone... If this card was sent to the graveyard as synchro material... Okay, so that is only when it's sent as synchro material. So the, the highest they can do is like a 3,000 attack monster. I think I'm absolutely fine. I think so. Okay, now I've just got to uh, remember how to get into U-Bell. Um, we have already normal summons. I think we just add this. We, ha we, we don't have any spells and traps to set, unfortunately. Uh, let's discard this. Sorry for the noise, if that is audible. Or maybe the noise question is doing a decent job. It's just really, like, rainy outside, and it's pretty audible from where I'm sitting. Um, okay, so how we need to try and get into Terabini right now. Uh, start by destroying this. Hold on. We want to get Yammer in the grave as well. Um... Okay, let's just do one thing at a time. Oh, wait, what? They can actually trigger this off of my, like, destruction? What the heck? <laughs> um, this is fine, though. This is just a 3k attack monster. Actually, let's just link it off. <laughs> yeah. The rain is seriously loud. I, I don't know if the mic's picking up or not. I hope not. But it's 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 so, it's like storming out there in the UK right now. Oh, they control one now, so they can destroy they can destroy something. This is absolutely fine. Anything they destroy here, like, yeah, this is fine. I can literally bring it back. <laughs> um, let's just set this. So yeah, we trigger this. What fiend do we even add back to the hand, though? Um, I guess we add Shalvara for follow-up? Yeah. We've already used the effect, though. But... We special summon this. And then... Destroy the trap. Trigger the trap. Um, hmm. We still need to get up to level threes, right? How do we do that? Um, I'm running out of time. Okay, let's just go into access code. I don't think I have enough time to like think about how to go into U-Bell. There probably there probably is a line, but I think I'm just gonna go for a simple OTK. Um Oh wait, I need to destroy something. We'll destroy the opening. Yeah, that's so unfortunate. I just spent a lot of, too much time reading the uh, Red Dragon Archfiend stuff. Because I'm unfamiliar with it. But uh, I think this is going to be like a clean OTK anyway. Um, we'll just summon this.
And then we'll just go to battle phase. Finish him off. I could have gone into U-Bell there, but, like, it's it's unnecessary. <laughs> it would have been really cool just to deal 7,000 damage with U-Bell. Um, I'm, I'm sure there, there was, like, some kind of line. Maybe it's, like, easier to go into U-Bell with Tour Guide. Yeah, actually, from now on, if I if I have Tour Guide, uh, I'm going to summon Tour Guide. Because it's actually just way easier to go into U-Bell with Tour Guide. Because with Tour Guide, you just get... The, you don't have to go into Cherubini. And, like, yeah. Let's remember to update it. Okay, yes, I'm actually remembering to update the win-loss win ratio. So, yeah, we won that one. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> One of uh, DM players, uh, natural predators. Yeah, true. Reading, reading is like the weakness of every Yu-Gi-Oh card player. Why am I going first? Was I forced to go first? Um. Okay, I guess we just do like unchained combos. Um. Let's let's do the uh, let's do the Griffin Lock. If I remember how to do that. <laughs> okay, so first of all, we start off with a Yama. Uh, question is, what are we going to add, actually? We've already used the normal summon. I think we just add the uh, Abomination. Uh, what's it called? Abominable Unchained Soul, I think. Because that's, that's like the only one that we can special summon from hand. Uh, here it is. Add that. We could have added the blue dog, actually, and just discarded it with opening. Uh, come think of it, but... Okay, let's just do the standard combo here. We'll go Rage. And then we go Muckcracker. Um, we, we have like so many resources in hand. I think we'll just keep this, this in hand so that we can like use it during our opponent's turn. Uh, we we'll also, we'll also save the Yammer as well. Oh, I just realized I need to discard something. Oh, that that's, feels like a bit of a waste. I think it's fine. Um, we want to summon this. So we're going to put Muckcracker here. Right, yeah, okay. I remember how to do this now. Uh, so that's an escape. And then with this, we can set the chamber. Um, okay. I'm sure we have plenty of bodies to, to go into the combo. Um, do we go into Rakea? Why, do we, why can we only go into Rakea? Um, yeah, I think we go into Rakea. Um, okay, Link Summon into Muckcracker. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, let's actually make use of the Blue Dog. Uh, Muckcracker. Um, we use both of those. Uh, 
Then we set this. And we use muck muckraker. Uh muckraker. For those that are particular about um pronunciation. We go into Griffin. Oh, we don't have anything to set. Um we don't have anything to discard either. Oh, I kind of messed up there. Yeah, I, I, I think I could have like saved some cards in the hand. Um. Okay. How do, is there any way to get cards in hand by destroying stuff? I'm not sure. I don't think I don't think there is. Okay, that that that's fine. We'll we'll we'll, we'll learn is we'll learn for next time. I think next time I should just be um, a lot more conservative with the uh, with the cards that I use for materials because I, I just have two like leftover materials and like they're not really uh, being used for anything here. Okay, so we we'll just use this face down uh, chamber to go into rage. Yeah, I just realised we don't have a discard. Um... Okay, yeah. So I know what to do. Um, so basically, on the opponent's turn, we're going to use a Bondal Chamber of the Unchained, uh, summon Rage to this position, and then we're going to use Escape of the Unchained to do the pop, and then when we pop the Rage, the, the Rage will add something to the hand, so we'll just add Shavara to the hand, so now we have the discard for the Rage, and we'll use Yammer's Effect in Graveyard to bring back the Rage for a second time. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, yeah. But honestly, these two, these two cards would is, is just now just like a waste, right? So I think I could have like had these two cards in the hand somehow. So yeah, I've got to do the combo better. It's just been a while since I've used the combo going first. And yeah, I do like doing the doing the Griffin lock. Because against some decks, it's just a FTK. And it still has like just as much interruptions as the other one. Like almost just as much. Um, yeah, Rota's fine. Didn't really make use of the opening though. Cypher Mirror Knight. What is this funky stuff? When a monster you control is destroyed battle and sent to the grave, we can discard this card. Send one card from your hand or field to the graveyard if you do special summon that destroyed monster. Okay. During the end phase of this card is in the grave because it was sent there just turn, you can add one cipher. Interesting. This guy's just playing ciphers. I've literally never seen this archetype before. Uh, if your opponent controls a face up monster that was special from the extra deck and you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. I have a feeling this is like an XYZ deck. Um, this is giving off XYZ vibes, you know. I've never seen it before though. You can special summon this card, you can discard one card, special summon one cipher monster from your hand or deck. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for. So you're locked into cipher monsters. Okay. This can't be too powerful. Has anyone else seen... Oh, you, are you actually just passing? Maybe they can't deal with the griffin. Uh, not letting you end your turn, mate. I am going to do this first. Uh, get out rage. I'm just going to... Clear, casually clear your board during your en own end phase. Get rid of that back row. Uh, nope. It's torrential tribute. Okay, yeah, we're we're not exactly uh, facing a strong opponent here. Gonna add Shavara to hand, and I just realised we we. Oh, actually, no, this was special summon, so we can actually um, link off. And we can get a draw as well, so we special summon this. <laughs> All during an end phase, buddy. Um, nah, we don't need to destroy a card. Wait, why didn't it... It's because I... It's because I... It's because I right-clicked. <laughs> That's a little bit annoying. It's because I right-click, it, 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 like, temporarily turned off the... Because you see... Whenever I whenever I right click, it like turns it off, so it like it turned off the auto confirmation thing. That's so annoying. I should have I should have left clicked the no button instead of right clicking. Hmm. Okay, that's that's absolutely fine though. Uh, 
I guess in this situation, uh, let's just link into a huge monster. Um, yeah, we, um, yeah, we're going to this. It's funny how almost everyone I come across refers to pronounce like X Y Z something instead of oh X Y Z X Y Z. No, I, I I'm just used to pronouncing the the English right because that's what that's what literally everyone around me says. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I am kind of aware it's like X Y Z as in like X E something, but like um, what was I gonna do again? Um. I mean, there's not that much to do. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Um, oh, yes. That's what I was going to do. I was going to go into Caesar. Just because I feel like it. <laughs> um, so they need to be linked in order to use their effects, right? Uh, we might as well trigger the Abomination as well. Get rid of the Unknown. I don't want to run out of time, though. <laughs> uh, honestly, this is like enough for game, so maybe we'll just go for game. I don't want to waste too much time styling on this poor guy. Oh, we have interaction. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked with this first. Is it like the thing in the hand? When a Cypher wants to eat control... Is this just to add? Are you just like thinking of the target to add? <laughs> What's taking you so long? Okay, yeah. So I guess they like special on that thing and they, they expected to activate the effect, but they didn't realize that Griffin locks them, so. We have advanced gold one. Oh, I just realized the music isn't playing anymore because I had that mess up with the stream having to restart. There we go, music's back. Sorry about that, viewers. And that also reminded me to update the win-loss ratio. Wow, I'm actually be like doing the bare minimum of being a good streamer. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we're 2-1 now. Um, let's go. Let's play a few more games. Yeah. Yeah, this deck is basically you Bell and the, the pet dog army. Sick em. <laughs> Cause I, I do summon the dogs way more than I summon you Bell. And like um like every time I do summon you Bell, it's just for the star points. <laughs> I'll I'll try and summon you Bell more often, just just for just for your guys' entertainment though. We have two Nibiru's. Were we forced to go first again? What's going on with these games? Um, we only have a single play. I hope this doesn't get negated. I mean, usually um, it's not easy to just negate a Shabara. So what kind of combo are we going for this time? Do we just go for the Gripen Lock as usual? I think we do. And let's actually not overcommit with resources this time, because that's what we made the mistake of doing so last time, and we didn't actually have enough, like, uh, discard resources. So with this, we're going to add... First, first of all, we're going to chain block it. Oh, and the cool, the cool thing about this deck is that we run the continuous spell, so we, now, we can actually go through all three names of the spells and traps to pop. Uh, we're going to add this to hand. Yeah. Um, let's set this. And special summon this. Um. 
Yeah, let's pop this. I think with this alone, I think we just have more than enough like bodies. Um, especially on this. Let me use this to pop to set this, and then pop the other trap. Um, what are we special summoning? We have gone through everything. Um, which I think we'll do this just to get it into rotation. Well, let's not discard because there's no need for that. Um, and then we go into rage first of all. Hold on. Um, I don't think it matters what we send. Well, the only thing we need to think about is uh, having this engrave. Okay, let, let's actually count the bodies so that we can actually do this combo right. So, we go into rage, and then we need two bodies for the muckcracker. Um, so we can just use this and this for the muckcracker. And then we discard one with muckcracker, bring that back, go into griffin... Um, and then discard another one for Griffin to set it and then draw a card. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how we do it, right? So we don't need to use the blue dog. Um, yeah, we don't need to use the blue dog. But I think actually using the blue dog means that we don't have to send this to the graveyard. Okay, let, let's see what happens without the blue dog. And then if we need to use the blue dog, then we'll use the blue dog. I hope this goes okay. Uh, uh, you know, I kind of want to use the blue dog just in case we don't have it. Okay, let, okay let's see. Muckcracker, discard. Griffin, discard. See, so, yeah, this is this is enough bodies, right? I, I just really want I just really want to double check. It just feels like a waste not to use the blue dog, though. Okay, screw it. I, I, I want to use the blue dog just so that... And I think I'll just keep this on field. Because if we pop this, we can, we can like, float it in during the end phase. Uh, summon this over here. And then trigger this. Um, we'll go for another red dog. Why not? And then we go for, where's Muckcracker? Here it is. Okay. And then we go using these two. We don't really need the Nibiru's because we're going first right now. So we target this and discard. And then we go into Griffin. And then Griffin sets the trap. Okay, we did it right. <laughs> we did it right, everyone. Finally, we did the Griffin lock correctly. We set this, and then now we can summon uh, Rage. And we get a draw. Yay! We haven't normal summoned during this combo? Wow, okay. That's pretty cool. I, you know, I, I do wonder if we can get, like... If we could somehow get, like, a co-linked... Um, what do you call it? A, a co-linked uh, um, DDD wave hiking Caesar. I wonder if that's possible on top of all of this. I don't know how we can, but like, we, we we have like so many extra bodies that we didn't make use of. But I think this is like the best board we can if we want to go for the Griffin lock. Yeah, I think this is the best board we can like conjure up. Maybe if we destroy the Muckcracker or something. And then replace the Muckcracker with... Oh, hold on. That works, doesn't it? So if we... J just for future reference. If we... Um, if we... Instead of using the Blue Dog early, we use the Blue Dog 
after all of this and then use the blue dog to get rid of the muckcracker. So this wouldn't be on the board because this would have to be used to summon the muckcracker. And then we use the blue dog, destroy muckcracker, special summon the blue dog here, and then somehow um, get Caesar in this position so that the Caesar's linked. Okay, interesting. Okay, so I think there is a way. Um, okay, so they can go into link ones. Um, we don't want to let that happen. Any special summon monster that's co-linked can use can activate its effects. This was normal summoned. If you control a summon grill. Um, I think I just want to delete this. Just like don't let them play anything. Um, what do we start off with? Let's see. Um, I think we should... Let's start off with... Let's not overcommit. And let's do this. And then see what they have. Uh, and you know what? I think we should just use Yammer just to get Rage on the field. And funnily enough, after all of this, we still have the abominable chamber. Uh, and during the end phase, we if they don't if they like literally don't do anything, then this is gonna come back and it's gonna discard one, pop this, and get like enough bodies for an OTK. Yeah, I know, right? It, it feels possible. Oh wait, I've just given them a link, uh, a link position here. Hmm. Special monsters on the field cannot activate their effects unless they are linked. Oh, so maybe I shouldn't have done that, actually. Oh, no, the talents! Oh, that's a bit... That's a bit devastating, isn't it? Yo, they can just take control of my griffin. <gasps> oh, no! They can take control of griffin. Yo, that's devastating! Okay, they, they, they took control of rage. Okay, it could be worse. So they're still griffin locked. Wait, there's no, there's no way. This is all you have? Are you serious? Why are you setting cards? They could have broken that board so, so brutally. Battle phase? Sure, yeah. Uh, no. So in end phase, I'm just going to summon Abomination, uh, this thing, and uh, destroy the back row. That's all you had? Okay. We summon this in this position so it doesn't get um, negated. Use this, and we summon this because it gives us more bodies, and that's it. Um. Okay. So yeah, I think we have plenty of uh, stuff to to go on. We'll probably just go into a simple like access code talk online, to be honest. Maybe we'll go into anguish just to give the access code talker more attack. Yeah, it's over. GGS. And remember to update the win-loss. Games are definitely going a lot better than uh, yesterday. See if we can keep this win streak going. And I feel like I've been forced to go first like for the past two games. Usually people go first themselves. Okay, finally, I'm going second. There we go. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a U-Bell OTK in. Because it's been a while since I've done a U-Bell OTK. Well, we drew a brick.
Oh, do you think so? But I mean, per Pearly's good going first and second. Like, it's just that per it, Pearly has like the happiness OTK, right? And also it's like relatively good to uh, playing through interruptions, like, relatively. But like, it, when I'm playing Pearly, I usually just opt to go first, unless I've designed my deck to have board breakers. This guy's playing Kashtira Snake Eye. Freaking meta sheep. So this could be a tough one to break, everyone, but uh, we're going to try. Pour myself a drink of water while I'm waiting for this combo to go. Stay hydrated, everyone. Scale the birch? What? Or crystallize the birch. It's a weird target to crystallize. Then they usually like crystallize either Flamberge or um, like Diabell style or something. Or maybe even Oak. I mean, unless they have Oak in hand. I just realized they use their Fenrir as uh, material. So I guess there's one less interruption out of the way. Surely there was a way that you could have played without like using Fenrir as material. Like, surely. They haven't used Poplar's effect yet. I forget what this does actually. If this god is destroyed, you can target one Link 3 or lower in the graveyard, special summon it. If a Link 3 or lower is just on the field is destroyed by battle or card effects, well, this god is in the graveyard, you can banish this card and destroy one card on the field. Okay, so it's just a pop. One Link 3 or lower. Okay, so they're gonna summon IP and go into like Appaloosa or something. Well, I can chain Max C to the IP. Um, start off with the starter. See where that goes. I do have a lot of plays in my hand. Ah, oh, yes. This is actually really good because now my Max C is going to be live. Um... Okay, let's add a Sharbara to the hand. Okay, so there's the special summon for the uh, IP. Chain Maxi and get a bunch of draws. Maxi Gaming. Oh, we drew Dark Beckoning Beast. Not the best draw, but we're going to be drawing so much more, so it doesn't matter at all. Uh, let's add Shabara. Okay. Um, they haven't used the IP. Have they just turned off the thing so that because they don't want to like special summon? Because actually, an Apo Negate on um, Shavara 
like might stop my turn. But if it wasn't for Maxi, that is. But obviously with Maxi, I'm just drawing crazy. So I once used used you bow in a zombie centered centered deck. <laughs> it gave me different uh, results. Nice. How much synergy is there between like zombies though? Um, what are we special summoning? Blue dog, I think. We're special summoning blue dog. Actually, uh, it's kind of interesting. If we go blue dog, right? Um, we're kind of threatening Caesar, but kind of threatening. But if we go Caesar, then we just don't have any follow up. <laughs> and also, like, whatever, they, whenever they special summon, we get to draw some. So, I. I kind of just want to go into like Yammer, right? Um, so we just go Blue Dog. Like, see if that baits out something. And then we use Blue Dog and Red Dog to go into uh, Yammer. And then we add a Ruha. And then we want to discard Dark Beckoning Beast with, uh, with uh, the one that discards to destroy one. Uh, so that we have Dark Beckoning Beast in Graveyard. And then we can use Opening the Spirit Gaze as an extender. Discard the Ultimate Nightmare. Bring out another Dark Beckoning Beast for the um, for, for some Link materials. <laughs> what does this do? This just draws me a card. Why did you do that? Oh, wait, wait. Quick effect. You can send... Special Summon Monster. Okay, so they can Special Summon a Snake Eye Monster. But what Snake Eye Monster, like, interrupts me? Um... So, yeah, I just go into Yammer, right? They just, they just gave me a free draw. <laughs> we have one of the level threes. Yeah, I just realized we have one of the level threes to go into Cherubini. Um... This is going to be a pretty cool OTK, actually. Uh, I can deal quite a bit of damage. I can deal 3,000 damage with Ultimate Nightmare. Uh, the, the tricky thing could be um, dealing with the rest of the board, though. Because they have... Uh, they can special summon a Link 3 or lower. Okay, so they, they only have Promethean Princess, actually. But they do have a pop. I honestly don't, don't care about pops, though. Because I'm playing Unchained. So honestly, this is just a really good matchup. I might be a little bit worried about an, Ap an, an Appaloosa, though. Um, but they are under max C, so they could go for up to, like, four materials here. Four material Apo is actually pretty nasty. Oh, they're just going Underworld Goddess? Okay, sure. <laughs> it's really annoying how they use the Tour Guide, though. Like, why Tour Guide? Because <laughs> I, I actually needed that more than the Unchained Soul Lord. But, like, most people go for the Link 2, because it's a Link 2. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. Um... Okay, so we can, um, wait, hold on. This actually hurts, doesn't it? Uh, is this Link Summon card is unaffected by your opponent's card effects unless they target this card. Okay, that's fine. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that special summons a monster from the graveyard. Okay, that's absolutely fine. I think. <laughs> um, we add a Ruha. I kind of want to destroy this, though. <laughs> um, they still have Promethean Princess. Does this... Is this still get negated in the graveyard? Um, okay, let's just start with an Aruha. See where that leads us. Um, so, the... This thing doesn't target, right? Destroy one. Yeah, it doesn't target. So, oh, this is tricky. Maybe I'll destroy the field spell. Yeah, I'll destroy the field spell. Um, let's discard. Oh, wait, we discard Dark Becking Beast. I remember. Actually, maybe we should get rid of the, um, this thing. We won't be able to deal as much damage with um, Ultimate Nightmare, but I think 
because this is going to float anyway, it's going to like interrupt our damage potential anyway. So I think we'll just get this out of the way. Attack one of the d defense position monster snake eye cards that they summon back. Um, and also this is going to draw me more cards as well. So <laughs> Th this guy is just like not holding back against my maxi, by the way. <laughs> uh, not the best draw, but we have we can use it as discard fodder. So it's absolutely fine. Um, okay, okay. Uh, so we have the blue dog. Um, let's activate this. Uh, we actually we want the Yammer in grave, and hope he, hope I don't know exactly how the um how the yam the the effect negation works i hope it doesn't continue to negate it in the grave but we'll find out we'll use this yep and we do have to link this off even though it is like juicy damage for ultimate nightmare i do want to link that off oh we're fiend locked we can't go into cherubini i just realized okay this is not a bad place to promethean princess it depends on whether I, I'm able to use Yama or not. Because I think I just I can just use Yama to bring out um, Anguish. Oh, we drew the Ubel! We drew the Ubel! Oh my god, we actually drew Ubel! This is all... <laughs> we can summon it from hand! Uh, sorry, I'm not reading comments right now because I need to um, focus. Because this, this, this is actually really complicated. Um... Yeah, I have seen the new Maxi. Um, I said I wouldn't read comments and I'm reading comments. Um, okay. Wait, what am I activating right now? Okay, targeting something to add to hand. Uh, let's add Shavara for follow-up. This guy is so screwed. Um, so we do want to Anguish to, to link off the Underworld Goddess. And then we'll use Ultimate Nightmare to smash into Promethean Princess. They do have a pop in the form of this. If a Link 3 or lower monster on the field is destroyed by Battle Card Effect. Oh, okay, they're using it now. So they're using the pop. Uh, they're probably going to pop this though, which is a little bit unfortunate because I don't think we've used this effect yet, but that's fine. Okay, so they're scaling the... Um, what's the turn? Okay, yeah, that's fine. So we could just pop the, the Flamberge in the back row. Um, probably using the blue dog to do that. Ah, uh, that sucks. We lost our opening. But that's fine. It's only like one less body. Uh, let's special summon this. And we'll also destroy it. Oh, wait. That can negate it. Oh, that sucks. Wait, am I just screwed? Wait a sec. Hold on. I'm actually screwed. This this just negates everything. Oh, it's only once per turn. Okay, it's once per turn. It's once per turn. Okay, so... But that does actually stop us quite a bit, though. Hmm... I think we'll go for a Zeus play. Uh, let's special summon this. I think I'll go for a Zeus play and just hope to win the grind game. Uh, this is this is going to be a once per turn though, so that sucks. Um, but they've like burned through all of their resources though. Oh, I should have gone into something that floats so I can use. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter at all. Um, Go Caesar. Oh, I think they have. I have a feeling they have a Nibiru. Because they still have interactions. Oh, they're probably going to Nibiru this. I don't have follow up after, after the Nibiru either. Oh, wait, no, it's not Nibiru, but they do have interactions. Oh, I think it's the Birch. The Birch is their, their last interaction. 
Okay, so if they chain that to Zeus. Oh wait, I'm fiend locked. Oh, I'm fiend locked. Oh, yeah, going into Zeus is harder than I thought. Because I used a Ruha. Oh, uh, well, best I could do. And now I draw the talents. <laughs> Come on. That would have been very useful earlier on. Ugh. I probably would have taken control of the Underworld Goddess and used it as Link Material. I think I lose this now. Okay, this is going to be pushing it back into the Spell and Trap God Zone. This is going to be absorbing. Okay, well, if I do Chain Link 3 Shalvara... I should have done I should have done chain link two Shalvara and then chain link three this. Hmm. It's fine. We get to remove something. Um Yep, it certainly is. Okay, so we we can like shove our in the battle during the battle phase. We do have a lot of cards in hand, so I suppose we have some kind of. Po the thing is, a lot of these like are required, like require me to normal summon. And my deck isn't actually built for that much follow-up. Uh, it's a tricky game. I think I'm going to make this my last game. Because because this, this game has used way too much of brain power. And like... I did not play as good as I could have. I don't think. I think I could have done so much more. At least I feel that way. I'm not I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. If it, like, I think it was this... Uh, special one from the Grave Negate that like threw me off. And I think I just shouldn't have gone for you, Bell. I think I should have just gone for Anguish because Anguish would allow me to get rid of this Underworld Goddess. So, but it, but yeah, I guess. But they didn't. They didn't negate it though. Hold on. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a card effect, that special summons a monster from the graveyard. So they, they. I mean, they could have negated the Yammer, but they didn't. So I should have just taken advantage because Yammer doesn't target. So I should have just taken advantage of that and then just use use the Yammer to go into Anguish. Yeah, so I, I just wasn't taking into account that thing. I'm going to run out of time. I think I should... I'm going to su summon Shavara now, actually. Just so I don't lose to Battle Base. Oh, they're Promethean Princess. Snake Eyes is so broken! <laughs> I'm gonna lose the time. I just have to say no on everything. Yeah, it sucks. I do wish we had more time in this game. I guess I'm dead to battle.
How did he push this back? Hadn't didn't he already use Flamberge Dragon? Oh, I think he used the uh, spell card. Yeah, he used the spell card. Yeah. Uh, well, Snake Eyes do be Snake Eyes. They're definitely beatable, though, I think. Uh, maybe not with Ubel Unchained, but... Um, I mean, maybe if they didn't play well, but... Because they just have so much, like... They just have so much. Full stop. <laughs> uh, let's get our daily missions. Come on, juicy. Um, oh, yeah, and also, uh, a tip for Gabriel... Uh, this dual live thing, uh, all you gotta do, if, if you want five gems daily, just go to dual live, click one of these, and you don't even have to watch the full replay. You just exit as soon as you start the replay. It's, you go to the settings on the top left to exit. So yeah, and it's an extra five free gems that you get on top of everything. So yeah, I think we're gonna call it there. Um, we ended, I actually remembered to do the win-loss ratio, everyone, and we ended on a 3-2, uh, Win streak. So we lost to Snake Eyes. Well, what else did we lose to? Let's see. I can't remember what I lost to. Uh, this game. Oh, uh, yeah. This, yeah, yeah there's no way I was winning this one. We lost to a going first um, Synchron pile. And they just set up like... Hot red calamity plus like three negates. So yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Although I, I I do feel like that Snake Eyes game was winnable because I I do think that the Unchained matchup is like a lot better than most other matchups in terms of the grind game. Um, and also it has a lot of opportunities for the opponent to misplay. Um, although I think my uh, my opponent that was playing Snake Eyes played really well though. Um, Yeah, it was, it was the underworld. It was the underworld goddess that threw me off. Um, but you know that that's completely on me. Like I I should have like taken into account that negate, and I should have like um, forced it out. And I basically I was just too tunnel vision visioning on the U bell. I was like, yeah, we're gonna do U bell OTK, and I was like, oh wait, gotta pay attention because summoning U bell was actually not the play there. Yeah, good point. Yeah, that's 150 gems per month. Because uh, you, you get like five per day. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, I'll be streaming again uh, on Wednesday uh, at around 6 p.m. UK time. So look forward to that, everyone. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you Wednesday.